السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to a new video Today we're going to talk about the humoral immune response Earlier we uh, mentioned that uh, the T helper lymphocytes are the immune cells responsible for activation of the specific immune response and this happens according to the type of antigen uh, because we have two types of lymphocytes we have the T-killer lymphocytes which are activated when the antigen is a cellular antigen meaning uh, cells infected by viruses or bacteria cancer cells or grafted cells and by this the cellular or the cell mediated immune response will be activated but when the antigen is a circulating antigen or a molecule such as toxin, bacteria, and uh, uh, which are circulating, which move along, along the fluids in the body. Here in this case, the T helper lymphocyte will activate the B lymphocyte, and by this, the humoral immune response will start or be activated. And now the T helper lymphocyte, after it uh, had the antigen bound to its receptor, it will study the antigen, it will uh, search for a specific uh, antibody or B lymphocyte to uh, act on it. So we have many B lymphocytes, for simplicity I only showed you two, for example. Here the T helper has to choose which one of these B lymphocytes will be the one to fight the invading pathogen or non-self. It will look, of course, to the antibody found on the B lymphocyte, on the surface of the B lymphocyte, and specifically for the binding site of the antibody. We mentioned it earlier that the antibody is a protein found on the surface of B lymphocytes or secreted by B lymphocytes, which uh, all have uh, the Y-shaped, uh, they all have the shape of the letter Y, but they differ by the binding site. So obviously here, this B lymphocyte has a specific antibody for the antigen. That's why the T helper lymphocyte will activate B lymphocyte 1 through secretion of chemicals or cytokines called interleukins. Now this B lymphocyte, B lymphocyte 1, is activated. After the activation of the specific B lymphocyte, this B lymphocyte will change, will transform into what we call a plasma cell, which is a big cell. It's just like the uh, copy machine. It will secrete copies of the specific antibody in order to release them to the bloodstream. And here we have so copies of the same or specific antibody. These antibodies will be now going to the blood stream to fight the antigen. Now, in the blood stream, what happens? Let's say we have the uh, original pathogens that entered the body and we see their antigens, which are the surface markers, their surface markers. They are just moving around in the blood stream, um, flowing with other cells and fluids in the body, etc. Now comes the antibody, it binds to this antigen or pathogen and more antibodies come and bind to other copy or other pathogens because we know that this, the, the pathogen, we don't have only, for example, one bacterium that enters the body. There are millions, they will start to reproduce and so they are flowing in the bloodstream, the antibodies will start to bind to them and as we see, when they bind to them, they group them together. After they bind to them, they neutralize them. We mean, when we say neutralize, that they will take rid of their power. They will be now powerless. They can't do any harm. They are just buckled, okay? They are uh, bound together and they can't move anymore and they can't do anything. So this is what the antibody does to the antigens. And now one of the scenarios or one of the possible fates of uh, the antigen in the body is that now we have a cluster of neutralized antigen that are now powerless. Uh, some of the, sometimes the macrophage, remember the macrophage or the phagocyte will be uh, here at the site and uh, will uh, easily now uh, phagocyte the, uh, this cluster of uh, antigens because earlier the antigen was very strong the macrophage couldn't 
eat it, couldn't uh, kill it. Now, after it's neutralized, the macrophage will be able to apply or make phagocytosis for the antigen, and it will, by this, clear or clean the site, uh, the, the, the bloodstream from the infection. Now, pay attention, this is one of the scenarios. Other things might happen to the antigen after binding by the uh, specific antibody. Thanks for watching. I hope you understood everything. Make sure to come back for new videos and goodbye.